On a story we've followed for years, First Alert 4 followed a tip revealing the Army Corps of Engineers is checking basements for radioactive contamination. This, of course, all part of the cleanup from the Manhattan Project. Russell Kinsell joins us live in Florissant tonight with more on this search. Russell. Sam, right now I'm on Cades Cove in Florissant. Coldwater Creek is right over there behind these homes, and it's believed that six homes on the street were built on soil that has radioactive contamination. So the government agency that's in charge of removing Manhattan Project radioactive waste from the banks of Coldwater Creek for the first time is testing and finding radioactive contamination right where people live. I saw them drilling over here, but I didn't know they were going underneath the homes. Carrie Havens lives near Cades Cove in Florissant, where the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have been taking soil samples, soil that may have radioactive contamination. It is a concern. It is a concern. For years, the Corps of Engineers has been removing radioactive waste from the banks of Coldwater Creek. Decades ago, improperly stored Manhattan Project contaminated waste spilled into the creek. Karen Nickel with the advocacy group Just Moms STL has been calling for testing and cleanup of all contamination. Is it inside people's homes? Are you going to test inside people's homes? And the answer is, well, we don't have any reason to. Well, I guess now you do. The Corps of Engineers says its investigation found the homes were built on an area that flooded when the creek overflowed its banks. Phil Mosier is head of the program in charge of Manhattan Project contamination cleanup. This is part of the overall investigation process, is targeting where contamination would have deposited from back in the day in historic flooding events. So this is just a continuation of that investigation process. Contamination has been found in the backyards of several homes tested and in the soil beneath at least one home. Uh, we've got several people who have grown up in this area who have come down with cancer and... It makes you think. It makes you think. It really does. It's a concern. But the Corps of Engineers wants to tap down any concerns and says there is no danger. We've done significant amount of valuations and we have a, a lot of data over the years for our environmental monitoring program that actually show that there's no risk to the homeowners right now. And that's because the contamination is so deep. Corps of Engineers says it will remove all radioactive contamination that it finds, and despite its confidence that there's no risk to the homeowners, the homeowners are very uneasy, so much so that none of them, not a single person living in these six homes, agreed to be interviewed on camera because they said there are still too many unanswered questions, including that one about their safety. Live in Florissant, Russell Kinsall, First Alert 4. Story will continue.